Okay. Well, fans. <laughs> Sorry about that. A little mix up here. Hey, live television, live streaming around the world. It's uh, stuff happens, but we are here, and we'd like to welcome all you pool fanatics watching around the world. This is. D-Day, as far as pool goes, this is as good as it gets. The World Nine Ball Championship 2015 here in Doha, Qatar. And it's semi-final action time. Ted Lerner along with the Maharaja, Imran Majid. And uh, tell us what you think so far, Imran. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, great pleasure to be here commentating on this uh, semi-final. Um, Shane got off to a good start. He's been breaking well. That's been his key to success so far in the tournament. And he's been controlling the one ball, which is a massive factor in uh, winning these matches. He's been controlling the one ball over the corner pocket and most of the time getting a shot on the one. And that's, uh, that's massive when you're playing nine ball. I asked Shane last night after his quarterfinal drubbing of uh, Dennis Orculio of the Philippines and uh, I said hey Shane you know, the, you know obviously I mean the key is the break and that's what he's been working on and he said he's got a little bit of a secret I, he, I asked him is he going to reveal the secret if he wins the tournament he said maybe Do you have any idea what his secret is Imran to this break well um, some players some players do know um, how to control the one but they didn't actually do that in this tournament and Shane's, Shane's worked it out, and he's been doing that, and to good effect, too. So that's, that's, that's the secret. So many variables in, in making it this far out of first. You've got to win two matches in the group stage. You've got players from over 50 countries, and uh, the talent level in this, uh, in pool, I've never seen it as good as it as it was this year. They are coming from all corners of the globe. Exactly. I mean, uh, Taiwanese, Europe, uh, the Americans have always been, you know, up there and played solid pool. But now we've got, like you're saying, every corner of the world. Um, countries we've never heard of playing good pool, which is good. Yeah, and these are four deserving semi-finalists on our other table. It's uh, the great Wu Cha Ching, who 10 years ago won the World Nine Ball Championship in Kaohsiung, Taiwan, at the age of 16 years old. And he is playing another pool prodigy from Taiwan, Ko Pin Yi, the brother of Ko Ping Chun, the older brother. So Ko Ping Chun here, the green shirt, 20 years old today, is celebrating his That's birthday. That's right, it's actually his birthday, yeah. Maybe he'll get some inspiration from that. So this could be important. Shane Van Boning won the lag in this match. And we have seen lots of Hill Hill thrillers in this tournament, so that could be important. So Shane up one to nil and uh, winning this safety exchange with Ko. Should go up 2-0 here. Just needs to get straight in on the 7 ball into the side pocket. It's always good to get out of the, out of the gates uh, fast in a 9-ball in a match because it's a race. It's just like a, a horse race or a car race. Except the thing that uh, all four of these semifinalists have is that they've been able to, and they have been challenged uh, quite a bit, except really Shane hasn't really been challenged at all in this tournament, but you got to be able to close the deal. You know a little bit about something uh, about that, don't you, Imran? You were up 10-7. I was up 10-7, yeah, and I had a chance to win, and I, 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 th I thought I'd won the match, and then uh, all of a sudden I miss the ball, and then I lose 11-10. Couldn't believe it. So frustrating. And it, he was a good player. I mean, he didn't miss a ball in the whole match. I missed two balls, and I, and I lose. Well, that's the great thing about nine ball. And I know when you're on the receiving end of it, it's not so great. But it's it's never over as long as you're still 
sitting there and the match is on. It's exactly. never over. You can it's never, never say it's never over a, until the last nine ball is down. And uh, so I learned from that this tournament. We we have seen you know one millimeter turn of a ball changing whole careers. You know you can, exactly. you could be out of the tournament in the group stage if, if just the ball turns one little millimeter. If it didn't turn, you might win the match and go through and win the tournament and change your whole life. Exactly. The actual reigning champion didn't qualify for the group stages. Niels Fein. Yeah. He didn't get out uh, of the qualifiers. Well, yeah, he was up. Uh, 10-7 as well in uh, actually it was uh, I'm sorry 8-7 eight, uh, eight, yeah. eight, he was up 8-5 in those race to nines and uh, he lost 9-5 Rue from nine, Korea eight, yeah came yeah. back on him so here we see Shane see that one ball over the corner pocket I'm not sure if he's got a shot this time but he's controlling it See, sometimes he's been doing this, controlling the one one ball over the corner pocket and controlling his cue ball into the middle of the table, and he's getting a perfect shot every time. He's going to be tough to beat if he keeps on breaking like this. I mean, Imran, is it... Do you have any idea what he's doing? I mean, is it just a, I mean, he has a certain hip movement or a uh, way he's racking the balls because the players are racking their own balls. No, there's, this no, year. no, there's no body movement and there's n nothing um, dodgy he's doing with the rack or anything like that. He's just the way he's hitting the rack. He, he's cut, cutting the rack. He's not hitting the one full ball. He's cutting it, hitting it half ball, which um, actually causes the one ball to just bank before the side pocket and go over to the corner pocket other players have been hitting it hard and making the one ball into the side pocket or it goes past the side pocket and goes to the end rail with no shot so if you cut the rack the one ball goes just before the side pocket towards the corner pocket he's a real student of the break as well Shane studies no, that's his practices. biggest asset yeah Shane uh, has a monster break in 10 ball as well and uh, he prefers the winner break format actually but he's adapting to the tournament break uh, pretty well you think he might try to pocket this one here well I think he can see an edge of it I'm not sure if he can pot it from my TV screen now if not there is a case for playing a jump shot or a kick shot depends how he feels Looks like he's going to kick at the one, one rail. Tried to make the one ball, but um, if he didn't, he would get a safety out of it. He, he hit the one ball thick off the rail, so it will go back down table. Go Chung now. Celebrating his 20th birthday today. What a birthday it will be. Like we, like we said, he looks like uh, 11 years old, right? <laughs> I think he's, he's probably won a lot of matches by guys underestimating him. <laughs> yeah. Do you know, his, he, him and his brother, Ko, who's playing on the other table uh, against uh, Wu Cha Ching at this moment, they were in the semifinals of the World Ten Ball Championship in the Philippines back in February, and they played each other, and Ko, the older brother, one in a route uh, in that and then went on to win the tournament however the brothers have played three times in their career in tournaments and the younger co has beaten them twice the older one. Oh, really twice, i didn't know that including in the grand finals which is the big tournament of the year in taiwan okay uh, for all the players and kopenchung won the grand final with a victory over his brother wow older that's brother. a good step I'm pretty impressed with his uh, demeanor, and uh, he looks pretty mature. It looks like he's been playing the game for 50 years. Well, he's going to leave this open, and uh, he's staring at 3-0 down.
Shane's just going to run this down the rail, and uh, next ball will be the uh, three ball. Isn't that nicely done, pushing the eight out of the way? Yeah, he had to uh, bump the eight to hold position for the three, which is uh, well executed. On our other table, Wu Cha Ching and Ko Pin Yi tied at one apiece. Pretty good speed on the cue ball there. This leaves him a straight in four ball, which he can just, uh, I think, draw back for the six ball. Depends on what angle he's got. Maybe it's not perfect. He has an air of confidence swirling around him, uh, and it's just hard to see him getting beat. But, of course, uh, you know, we've got... <laughs> this is as good a semifinal as we've seen in years here. This is a four rock-solid players. So, you know, anything can happen in pool, but uh, we have yet to see a, um, a dent in the armor of Shane Van Boney. I mean, he's growing in confidence uh, over the last two, three years. He actually got a big monkey off his back by uh, winning a tournament outside of the U.S. Because for years, uh, he was known as just a player who plays great in his country. But last year, he won the World Pool Masters. And this year, he won it again, back to back. So he's broken that duck. He can play internationally. And this would be the, uh, the icing on the cake here. This would be... The biggest victory of, of Shane's career. If he could pull it off today, we're still a long way from that. He, lo he looks in good shape. Um, whenever I've gone to the practice room, he's there um, hitting balls, playing the local guys. He, he stays in there for like seven, eight hours a day, just playing continuously. So uh, he deserves it. Well, we have some people uh, asking us and are sending in questions through a chat room. Uh, who will win the match? I, I, honestly, I, I mean, I, I would have to give Shane a, a, an edge here, but uh, I, I'm not going to make a prediction. Yeah, I mean, guys have been way up in matches um, and, and still lost. So, um, although Shane has got off to a good start, which is vital, I wouldn't uh, count him as the winner yet. So it's a 3-0 lead for the American Shane Van Boning. And this would be huge back in the United States, uh, in the pool community. And I think Americans maybe have felt uh, left out, and it's really uh, by their own design, because uh, we, we don't normally see the American players traveling the world, playing the pool tournaments, all the big tournaments, just like we see the Europeans and the Asians going all over the place and uh, you know, that's what it takes to get this worldwide experience and I can tell you Imran all the people online the haters and the people on the internet who say Shane never has won the big one and that is absolute nonsense absolute nonsense I mean anybody can make those uh, claims sometimes you know there's very few th overnight successes in life and it takes a lot of failure to become a success exactly yeah you only learn when you lose But there hasn't been a big contingent from the USA out here this time. I think only three players. And they did well. And there's a nice break off from uh, Co. It did well. Uh, Mike DeShane was one nine ball away yesterday from uh, moving into the quarterfinals against Co. right here. Right, and yeah. he missed a straight in nine ball. Yeah, he missed a nine ball. But um, that, was, that was a good um, effort from him. And there were other guy, Hunter Lombardo, he, he played a, solid too. Had a great tournament. See, the USA over the last three or four years, they've gone off the radar a little bit in terms of international events. But Shane is now raising the bar, and he's, uh, he's Captain America. <laughs> I love that. That's a great one. They call him the uh, South Dakota kid, but I think uh, we should... Uh, we should change that to Captain America.
Looks a bit edgy, coping uh, Chung at the moment. Not playing with too much confidence. But as I said, it's early days. Anything can happen. So, Imran, I'm sure you know uh, you and other other players have. You get in that uh, zone, so to speak, every now and then. And uh, what's it like? I mean, you just feel like you can't be beat. Just have just brimming with confidence. Well, it's it's a funny game, nine ball. You can actually play perfect and still lose a match. On the other hand, you can play bad and win a match. But um, if you're talking about being in the zone, yeah, you just feel like uh, your arm, your body and your mind are in uh, total sync, you know. And everything you do just comes out perfect and you can't miss a ball. It's a great feeling to have. So he can see the one ball here. He's got to get one on the board quickly because Shane can run away with this. It's not easy to come back in an alternate break format. See, ooh, I thought it was going to drop, but uh, that was a careless mistake. Yeah, he had a chance there, and now Shane Van Boning with a chance to go up 4-0. If he can clear these colors off the table. Yeah, I mean, he just needs to get position on the two ball here, and it looks like a pretty open rack after that. These uh, tables are pretty quick. The, the rails are quite uh, bouncy. So it's not easy to control the cue ball. See it there? He was just a little bit short. I think he was thinking, oh, this is going to bounce off the rail very fast, uh, but it didn't. So he, he understroked it. Still okay. okay. And I think Shane Shane is uh, showing that you, you can't force things sometimes also in, in, in nine ball. You have to take what the table gives you and just exactly. work from there. You know, even though you might want the ball in a different position. You have to play the percentage shots, yeah. I was talking to Mika Eminen earlier today. He was up 8-4 against John Moore and lost 11-8. Uh, and he said that very same thing. He tried to uh, force a few shots and, and he should have just taken what the table gave him found himself out of the tournament because of it. Yeah, John Mora had a good tournament too. Great getting, tournament. Uh, Mark Gray and Mika Eminen. And was behind in both games, actually. Well, this is quite a start for the American. He doesn't look like he's feeling the pressure, but obviously he he is. And uh, I guess the, the question to you, Imran, is uh, in, when you get in these situations and, you know, the tournament is there for the taking and the pressure's on. How do you deal with the pressure? Well, everybody's human, Ted. If we don't feel pressure, we're not human. We're not computers, we're not robots. Everybody feels the pressure. It's just a matter of how you handle it. How you handle the pressure. What you gotta do is engulf the pressure and let it work for you. That's the key. That's what Shane does well. Well, Shane Van Boning is eating pressure for lunch here in Doha. It's four to nil. Kopin Yi, Kopin Chung, rather, has yet to get on the board and hasn't really shown us much. But uh, we still got a race to 11 and it's alternate break, so anything can happen. On our other table, you can see them, Wu Cha Ching, the lefty, getting ready to break off. He leads Kopin Yi, two to one. In theory, it could actually be uh, a brother's final. Ko Pin Chang beats Shane and Ko Pin Yi beats Wu Chan Ching. Two brothers could play each other. That would be a first. We asked him that. I mean, how do you go about if the if you're playing each other? I mean, it's 
And they said, well, you know, we're brothers, but we would take it very seriously. <laughs> In other words, there's, uh, nobody's going to lay down for the other one and say, well, the older brother's going to win or the time for the young. This is the world championship. Yeah. It's a big title. You don't want to throw that away. So let's pay attention to this break shot here. One on the spot, nine in the middle, of course, and two behind the rack. Watch the two wing balls sticking out there. Now he's going to make the seven ball. He's going to hit the one half ball, and it's going to bank just before the side pocket like that and go over to the corner pocket I mean if the four ball doesn't come there it's a great break right it's like a, a road map you you have to you have to run out you know that was that was very unfortunate for the four ball to come in between those two balls two balls on the break so of course yeah I mean it being a Pool, the balls are flying around you you will have instances like that but the percentages is what you're playing exactly you just want a shot on that um, on the one ball you know Shane said yesterday he's you know 80% of the time he is breaking he's running out that's incredible that's unbeatable that's a good percentage yeah I think most top players would have uh, sim similar percentages though but whether they pr produce it on the big stage is another matter. And that's what Shane's been doing good this tournament. Oh, that's a nice shot. That's confidence. But does he have a shot? Yeah, it looks like he... Yeah, he can cut this two ball in. That's not a problem. And he will have a shot after this on the four, guaranteed. Well, he is making this game look really simple. Anybody who's played it knows it's not exactly simple, it's very complicated. It can be very frustrating for a lot of people, but uh, this is a clinic in nine ball pool, and it comes just at the right time for Shane Van Boning in the semifinals of the World Championship. Wiped its feet, but uh, nevertheless went down. By the way, on our outside table, it's Wu Cha Ching 3, Ko Pin Yi 1. So the brothers Ko in a bit of a hole at the moment. Our final will be coming up at 5 p.m. Doha time. GMT plus 3. Greenwich Mean Time plus 3. If you don't know what that means, I'm not going to explain it to you. Just Google it. <laughs> And try to figure it out okay and uh, but 5 p.m. Doha time so that'll probably be about an hour hour and 20 minutes after the semifinals finish it'll be a race to 13 alternate break really Imran what more can we say I mean we should just sit back and watch this clinic it's all about the break, Ted. Shane Van Boning with a dominating performance so far here in this semifinal. It's a dream start for the American. Now, Copen Chung's going to have to come with something now to catch up his uh, deficit. He's going to at least have to break and run a couple of racks, minimum. I don't know what he can do. I mean, he's... Shane is going to have to, I wouldn't say fall apart. He's going to have to make some glaring errors. It's an alternate break format. So even if uh, they trade serves here going out, there's no way that Ko can come back at, at the way that Shane's been playing. I just don't see uh, him faltering at this point. See, if Shane was breaking like he's doing against me, 
I, I would I would copy it and do the same thing. If it's working. Oh, that is. That was cursed. But if see if you see someone's brake working, why not try and copy it, emulate it? Wow, that is that is as bad as that's situation a you could be in right now. That's that a is. nightmare scratch. Yeah. He's looking at 6-0, straight in the face. Yeah, not such a happy birthday. You know, Shane is a laid-back guy and very quiet. He's a shy, of course. He doesn't really like to speak to the media too much. He doesn't hang around with the players in the lobby of the hotel too much. And uh, Shane is a bit of a loner. And uh, But I tell you, if you're ever looking for him, just go to the pool, pool hall. Room. Yeah. Go to the pool hall. Yeah. He, he has been on the table hour after hour here in Doha at the Federation. Uh, he came down here early today. He was on the table. They had to kick him off the TV table because they didn't want him practice, you know, getting too used to it. Uh-huh. Yeah, he keeps himself to himself, but uh, he always looks like a man on a mission. Mission to find a pool table anywhere around the world. And now it's a mission to get into the finals and claim his very first World Nine Ball Championship. And, oh, and there is the first mistake we have seen. Wow, well, didn't expect that. Okay, this is the chance now for Ko, but unfortunately for him, we're in a alternate break format. He was a bit um, complacent on that shot. So Imran, you've been in this situation before of Ko Ping Chung. What do you do? What, what, how, well, do you, you, how do you approach it? You just got to take uh, each rack at a time, don't you? don't look ahead you got to play each ball at a time I mean I've been in uh, matches where I've been 7-0 down 8-0 down and actually managed to win matches you just got to stick stick uh, to it stick with your guns have the belief that you can still win take each rack at a time each ball at a time it's never over there it is finally after 40 minutes, Ko Ping Chung celebrating his birthday today. It's not been the happiest of birthdays so far. That was a birthday present from Shane, I think, <laughs> missing that seven. Something tells me that's going to be the probably one, the, the one and only present he'll get from Shane today. <laughs> Five to one now in favor of Van Boning, SVB from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I, I really like that name, Captain America. I think that should be his new name, Captain America. You know, outside, I think in the States they call him the uh, this South Dakota kid, but uh, that, that doesn't really resonate overseas. I think Captain America. Yeah, people don't know about South Dakota. And doesn't Captain America wear blue as well? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That is textbook. See, this break is going to be tough to beat. Always controlling the one ball. Like I said, it's... I was making it look easy, but... You know, if, if it was that easy to break like this, everybody would do it. And I'm sure people try to copy it. But uh, Shane has it down. He studies this thing. He practices it religiously. And he's got it down. I don't. I mean, it's like you said. You I mean, it's not a new thing. People, people do know about this break over the last few years. But they just haven't executed it in this, in this tournament. You know, they haven't, they haven't done it. And... Um, you have to make the three-point rules, which is getting th three balls down or two past the head string and one down. But what I what I see in, in, in these tables, the rails are quite bouncy. So all balls are always going to come down to the end of the table. So you make your three points. That's why you can afford to hit 
the brake a little bit soft or a medium speed because the springy rails will let the balls come down table to make your three points interesting point there about the rails being bouncy because you're saying on a table that didn't have this kind of bouncy rails that you might have to change your your speed on the brake you might have to hit it a bit harder to make the three point rule Shane Van Boning that little hiccup doesn't put a bump in the road for him six to one now and he looks unstoppable on our outside table now Ko Pinyi gets one back it's three to two Coming to you live from the Al Arabi Sports Club in beautiful, hot Doha, Qatar. Right in the heart of the Middle East. And uh, this is actually, besides our live stream, we're actually, this event is being beamed out across the Middle East on the al Qas Network. And uh, this is just a great thing for the sport of pool to be seen by this many people. And you know, Imran, I don't know if you've seen, but the newspaper, the coverage here in Doha and the newspapers is unlike anything we've ever seen. It's on the front page of the sports section. I mean, this is a place that is football wow. mad. Mm -hmm. Soccer for you Americans out there. Football mad. And yet they're putting pool on the, on the page on, in big colored pictures and great articles. They've got uh, journalists here covering the event. Fantastic for the wow, sport. Wow, that's that's fantastic for the sport, as you said, yeah. They really do a good uh, job out here at Doha. Excellent venue, good conditions, referees. Nice tournament. And it can only get better. Other matches close, the Kopin Chi Wu Cha Ching match 3 2 to Kopin Yi with Wu at the table and looks like to have a, a pretty open table. Well, there was a, a good break shot there. Now, I don't, can he, he see can, the he two can, ball? He can, he can make this two ball, yeah. The only problem is the seven's gone awkward next to the nine, so might have to develop that somehow. I think there's one thing we have to um, watch for Shane, and I have seen this before. When he has big leads, like at the Whirlpool Masters, he can get a little complacent. Yeah, he can, yeah. Which is, um, it's natural, actually. Sometimes you think you've, you've, you've won the match, or you're, you're coasting, you can't lose, and you kind of free will. But um, that can cost you, yeah. It, things can go wrong. You need to bear down on every ball. And we've already got people in our chat room who are going, well, in the next match, he's got to do this and that. Hold on, folks. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> you start make, missing balls like that, it's not going to be your day. You cannot do that against Shane Van Boning. He needed that rack like he needs to breathe air. He's feeling the heat, yeah. He's just got to, what does he, what does he do with the seven ball? He's got to, does it pass the nine or does he got to break up that cluster? No, I think it only goes in one pocket, in the corner pocket up where the eight is at. Otherwise, he has to try and break it out here. He has a nice angle with this four ball. He can break this out, two rails. Bottom rail, side rail. Or he could just play it into the corner pocket, like I said. I think that's what he'll do, yeah. He'll play it into the corner pocket by the eight. I think he's just weighing up now whether to play the ball in the corner pocket or to break them up. Yeah, he decided to break them up. And oh, fantastic. That good. Yeah. Fantastic. What a, what a pro shot that is. He could have played position on it, but it was, uh, had to be a very pr precise positional effort. This way he had uh, more margin for error.
feathers that eight ball in and all he can do is watch as he'll go down by six racks and Shane with this nine ball will start to have the finish line in sight. And the thing is, is if he can continue with this pace and get out of here, this semifinal in, what, in about, about maybe 70 minutes total, he will have, he will have plenty of time to uh, rest and gather himself for the final. Final won't go off for another four hours about from now. Yeah, he's playing like a train, Shane. The American Express. Oh, that's another good that's one. That's another one, that, isn't it? That might even be better than Captain America. In where my, do I get him, where to get where, him where, from? Yeah, where are you coming up with this stuff? <laughs> that's fantastic. Yeah, American Express. He really is an express train right now. And let's watch the break again. Wing ball. This, in this case, it'll be the four. We'll head straight for the corner pocket. And watch how he controls the one. Oh, no, there the one gets hit, but still, he's got a shot in the other pocket. Still, it comes down table and shot on the one. I, I mean, how, how, how do you win? How do, how do you beat a guy who's playing like that? You've got to play the same break to beat him. you got to play the same break to beat him and outplay him with his uh, table play. That's the only way. like a good positional shot yeah very well executed don't see any problems in this rack Ted it's about self-belief Shane's got it by the truckload right now on top of that he's got some serious talent but it's actually good to see uh, three Taiwanese in the semi-finals you know they went off the boil for a couple of years. Yeah, they, they've really um, upped their level in pool in the last few years. And there's, they have so many great players coming out of Taiwan. Of course, Wu, who's leading 4-2 to two on our other table right now, is now plays in China. But he is a Taiwanese. That's right, yeah. See, in the last three years, it's been Europeans winning this event. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? The... Uh, Euros didn't have a good good event this time. No, no, not at all. The Taiwanese weren't having none of it. I mean, they've always been a great nation, pool-playing nation. It was just a matter of time until they, they came back and uh, did some damage. Wow. This is the SVB Express. This is amazing. What a clinic he is putting on here in the semifinals. Couldn't ask for a bigger stage. Seven to one. Rather, eight to one. I can't even, I can't keep up. Eight to one, yep, that's <laughs> right, Ted. One. I can't keep up with my, in my notebook here. Because it's happening so quickly. Eight to one, it's just a race to 11. I, I just don't see how Ko Ping Chung can come back. I don't see either. No, they're taking a timeout now. So you might want to switch over to uh, our other table. They're still uh, duking it out. It's Wu Cha Ching up four to two on Ko Ping Yi. Wouldn't that be some final? Wu Cha Ching, who won this event 10 years ago at the age of 16. You wouldn't even recognize him if you look at the pictures and the videos from that day. He was a chubby 16-year-old. And boy, did he play well that tournament. I was there watching it. He was hitting the brake like 200 miles an hour and just 
playing five ball, four ball, <laughs> making three, four balls on the break. No fear, just free stroking. That's what happens when you're young. You don't have the fear, you know. You don't know what can go wrong. <laughs> so you just fire at everything. Right. Your confidence is so high. <laughs> Older players have battle scars. They know what can go wrong. If I miss this shot, I can lose the match. So, there we are. Say hi to everybody around the world. There you go. Over there, everyone. Over right there. there. Okay. How you guys doing, ladies and gents? Hope you're enjoying our coverage. We are enjoying bringing it to you and uh, the pictures of Kazoom. It's for free. Free. Let's put the caps lock on. Free. Come on. What's free in this life? Yeah, definitely the best in the business, Kazoo. $30,000 to the winner. $15,000 to the runner up. $200,000 in prize money overall here and uh, it'll all happen uh, today as the finals coming up coming up at 5 p.m. Doha time GMT plus three if you don't know what that GMT night people ask me what does GMT mean you know Greenwich Mean Time it's uh, <laughs> it's actually a place in England called Greenwich where they have the central time system I was there actually about two months ago me and my wife went, went there for a picnic yeah you were at ground zero for the world clocks, basically. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, Central I, location for time, I'll give yeah. you, I'll especially give you a, in London. Yeah. yeah, I'll give you a good website to go look it up. It's um, timeanddate.com. Great website. I use it all the time. You want to know what time it is in any city in the world. Okay. Okay, and they always have the GMT right there. So uh, if you're in the, say, for example, like in the Philippines, that's GMT plus eight. This is GMT plus three. So right. you can just do the math. We don't want you to miss any of the action. So a ball down for uh, two balls down. Coping showing he's in a real ditch right now. See, he made the one, and, and, and it's lucky whether to have a shot on the lowest ball now, which he doesn't. Shane is, on the other hand, controlling the one, which is massive. Well, he's still got to battle it out. You, you, you know, you're, you're never out of it. it. And he plays a push out. As long as they're still playing, as long as the nine ball is still on the table, you still got a chance. Shane could actually be aggressive here and, and bank the two into the six. Depends how he feels. Or he can play safe. Yeah, you see the six ball it's hiding hanging. in, the, in yeah. the corner there. Looking at it. He's looking at it. I think he might shoot it. Eight one up, you know. Go for it. Well, at eight one up, he can certainly afford to take a chance. Play offense. There you go. A little unlucky not to have a shot. Well, a clear shot. Maybe he can kick at it using the rail first. So on our outside table, looks like Wu is going to go up 5-2. Got a couple balls left on the table, and uh, 
That one obviously much tighter than uh, this match. Shane taking his uh, good old time, and why not? We don't have a shot clock here in Doha. Oh, there's a foul. All right, now, Open Chung has to get one back here. Unfortunately for him, even if he gets it here, Shane's got the next break. That's okay, Shane. Don't cry. You can't make mistakes. You are a human. Vital for Co to get this right. By the way, Shane's been using this uh, extended cue. What do you make of that? Um, well, it's uh, an American thing, I think. Um, Earl Strickland, you know, he's always messing about with his equipment and this and that. Um, Earl Strickland started doing it and uh, gave the idea to Shane, and Shane tried it, and it actually helps you go through with the cue a little bit more. Um, he feels more confident. He feels that he can make every long shot with a longer cue. I guess it's a bit. I guess it's a bit psychological and a little bit technical as well. Have you tried it? I did try it. Yeah, and it was good for my long shots, but not great for my short shots. So. Um, I'm happy sticking with the normal length. But um, it seems to be working for Shane. Whatever's your cup of tea, as the English say. It's sort of like in golf, people always messing about with their putt, you know, the putter and, you know, just trying to get that feel. It's all about that feel. Yeah. You know, if you, you find something that feels great, you know, just run with it. I mean, Wu Cha Ching, here's, here's one, a great example for you. By the way, he's up 5-2 right now, and he's at the table. A bit of a tough cut shot here. Yeah, he might have to play this uh, three rails, because, yeah, one, two, oh. three, and nearly scratches. It's just all gone south for the youngster. Not a happy birthday today. Well, yeah, it looks very under pressure. Oh, a bit short. Mm. Oh, there's another twist to this rack. <laughs> Does he play a safety or does he go for the bank? What would you do, Ted? Well, I no one. It's not about what I would do. I think no one would. Shane. I think Shane's going for it. Eight one up. Yeah. Why not fire at it? Missed it, but left it safe-ish. He played it at a nice speed. So if he misses it, he'll leave it on the side rail with a tough cut shot. I mean, you you would take eight one up. You definitely take that now. If it was a hill hill match, would you would you also take it or? Well, sometimes it's good to go for the jugular. You know, go for it. Um, depends how you feel. You got to win by going through the front door, not the back exactly. door. Exactly. Oh, I feel bad for the kid. It's all going wrong. Yeah, it can be a very lonely place out there if uh, things are going wrong for you. You know. You're not playing well, your confidence is low. There it is. Nine to one. One of the few hiccups we've seen from Shane Van Boning, but uh, uh, it's just not a good day for uh, the youngster coping Chung. Captain America keeps riding that American Express. <laughs> I was telling you about Wu Cha Ching. He, you know, since moving to China, he's he's risen up the ranks in China, and you know he's had some personal issues uh, over the last uh, few years. And 
but he's gotten his even up till about six months ago he wasn't very comfortable with his game and he lost his cue and then somebody gave him a cue out of nowhere and and he tried it and he and you talk about feeling he said wow this feels great i found my game and ever since then he has uh brought his game back to that level of winning a nine ball middle pocket sorry ted oh <laughs> wow that's a win wow 10-1 10-1 and this is even if he didn't make the nine look at the break i mean it's ridiculous easy one ball and yeah i didn't know that he lost his cue and someone gave him this cue wow and then he suddenly found a feel and he said this is mine and here he is in the semi-finals and he's up six to two now so could we have a Shane Van Boning Wu Cha Ching final? Mm, it looks like that at the moment, but hold on. Shane looks like he's going to go through. I can't, not going to be a meltdown here, but we have to wait to, for the result of uh, our other semifinal. And how about that nine ball? When it rains, it pours. Exactly, yeah. That's the last thing Co wanted to see. I think... I think uh, did you see him in the Masters? Uh, that was Shane? icing on his birthday cake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see Shane in the Masters? He made uh, two golden nines in the final against Darren Appleton. He made one in the semifinals. I mean, and you don't see that that often. I mean, the guy is just the stars are lining up for Shane Van Boning. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. He's on a roll right now, and the pool gods are with him. I guess. I think he deserves it. He puts in like seven, eight hours a day, ridiculous amounts of time hitting balls and fair play. Good luck to him. He's coming to London next week for the World Cup of Pool and I think he's going to play in my pool room. He'll be there for like seven, eight hours a day owning the table. At your pool room? At my pool room. Where's your pool room at? In King's Cross, London. I'll have to come down there. Yeah, the hurricane I'll be there room. for the uh, World Cup. The hurricane room. That's what it's called, the hurricane yeah. room? Yeah. All right. You got uh, you got any uh, ale on tap or anything there? Oh, yeah. There's a 24-hour bar, yeah. Well, wow. it shuts at 5 a.m. Oh, that's, that's good enough. That's good enough, right? <laughs> it's good enough. I'll see you there. So, uh, having to play safe or kick shot, kick yeah. shot, yeah, just maybe try to pocket it or just kick it away, anything, just. I think he just wants to get out of here. And looks like maybe he will be soon. Well, no, he, Shane can't really see that, but maybe have to snick a side edge of it. Like he he can't make the ball for sure. Still on our outside table, Wu Cha Ching, now playing under the China banner, originally from Taiwan, up six to two. Uh, this is just a matter of time before Shane closes this one out and moves into his first ever final, at the World Nine Ball Championship. Shane, a four-time U.S. Open champion, currently has won it three times in a row. Defending champion in that event. Two in a row, Whirlpool Masters. Uh, I guess if you're trying to figure out the storyline, <laughs> this guy is definitely on track to win this event. 
I mean, he has got everything going for him right now in pool. Yeah, he's breaking well, playing well, feeling good, feeling confident. Who's going to stop him? And for all those people who said, well, Shane can't win overseas, okay, they said, oh, when he won the Whirlpool Masters, they said, well, it's just an invitational 16 players. Okay, all winter breaks format. Shane likes the winter break. He doesn't like the alternate break format. But you know what? You travel overseas, it's not easy. It's, uh, it's difficult. You're playing great talent. Uh, you're playing under different conditions. Different uh, time zones. Time zones. The food is different. Everything is different, and it takes sometimes years to become uh, a success and to, and to win the big one. I mean, you're, not everybody's going to be Wu Cha Ching and winning the world title at 16 years old. No, exactly. That's like one of a kind. And a lot of credit to Shane Van Boning for packing up his bags and getting on that airplane and going anywhere in the world there is a tournament. Boy, it's, you know, pool's not easy. The money's not, not big in pool and uh, you lose early in the tournament. Even if you get to the, you, you, you know, quarterfinals, sometimes you're just paying your bills. So it can be, it can be depressing when you lose in this sport. It can be, it can really set you back. Yeah, but he, he doesn't really need to travel outside of the U.S. They have a lot of pool tournaments in the U.S. where he can make a comfortable living. But uh, obviously for the World Championships, he won that title, and that's uh, something he never had. Yeah, he wants that title, and he's going to get a chance to grab that title. A nine-ball clinic by the great American Shane Van Boning, winning over Ko Ping Chung 11-1. to one. Another wow. drubbing here in Doha. So Shane will pack it up for the moment, head out into the heat of Doha, and take it easy for a few hours. At least he gave Ko Ping Chung one rack for his birthday present, right? 